So if you're doing content for your blog and you need lots of content, so how would you do it? There are two options there. First is whether you can hire a freelancer to do that work for you or there are AIs, AI tools which are helping us to actually get those contents out. Now in market there are actually two very good tools out there. One is the Jarvis which probably most of you know and the other is the peppertype.ai. So in this video I'm going to review the peppertype and let you know how different or how similar it is to Jarvis. So without much ado let's jump into it. This is Sonit from Techitrickle. So paper type, the actual landing page is this. So uh, here if you see, paper type is saying that it has actually had a fundraise of $4.2 million. Pretty awesome, I would say. Now, if you go to the top here, you would see that this is the interface that they are having. And these are the kind of things that they are actually giving right now. And it is pretty new, I would say. Okay, so it is giving on blogs, you can see on SEOs, Instagram media post, and then there are other tools as well that you can see here. Now, I will also show you Jarvis here. So this is the uh, landing page of Jarvis. So anybody who actually lands on this page will be wowed by this, right? So if you see here, you know, they have spent a lot of money on that. And, and it is really impressive. But the game here is that all of them are using kind of the same technology that is the GTP3. Now, what is this? So they are basically using AI to find out the pattern. So whatever, you know, words you are giving, so it is actually trying to find the pattern and then it is giving you the output out of that. So uh, this is how it shows. So basically they have spent a lot of money on marketing. Okay. So this video is not about Jarvis. So I will create a separate video on Jarvis where I will go ahead and show you in detail and you will find somewhere here on top about that link. So let me go back to Peppertype and I'll log into Peppertype. So here I am on the dashboard of Peppertype. So on the dashboard, you would see that they are having all these kind of, you know, groups or categories. So let me lo also log into Jarvis. So I al already use Jarvis uh, for a long, long time. So let me log into Jarvis and I'll show you the interface of Jarvis as well. Okay, so this is the front uh, part of Jarvis and here you would see that these are the options that it shows. So it is actually giving more, uh, you know, uh, the categories are being more filtered out. But I would say that, you know, uh, if you see here, it's, it's almost kind of the same. You can see Instagram, Amazon, Google, Facebook, you know, all these are kind of similar out there. So what is different? See, they are constantly updating the paper type. Now you will have to make a choice whether you want to get into the game early or you want to wait till they are actually coming to a very advanced level. I took Jarvis when it was early in the game and I had to spend $99 for that. Okay. And I am in their plan uh, for Jarvis. So you can see I am using the boss mode. Okay, and it is $99 a month. So you might not be investing that amount of money right now, right? So, so paper type could be the ideal solution for you. But again, that that is up to you to decide which one you would want. So let's uh, check out how it is basically performing. Okay, so I will first get, uh, let's say, blog ideas. Okay, this is the kind of description I'm giving, but this description has to be very concise and you have to give as much as possible in this now if i go for blog ideas uh, in uh, like say in the jarvis uh, i will not compare all of them but i'll just show you if i go to topics uh, then you can see here jarvis is giving us 600 words for the product description whereas paper type is right now giving us 180 but i think they will improve on this they will keep on adding the characters and as many people will want to they will uh, give that okay so let me create blog ideas out of there and let's see what it gives us so these are the ideas that it is giving us so how google meet can save your business a blog about uh, this is not good. 
top three tools to step your collaboration game with Google Meet, a blog around collaboration tool, the benefits of Google Meet, a blog focused on Google Meet benefits. Uh, this is quite good, I would say. Um, then you can see Google Meet for business. So uh, I would want to go with, uh, like say, this one, uh, the benefits of Google Meet. So you would want to let people know how it is actually working. So I would do a save here and under saved copies, you would find that these are going on adding. Okay. Now the amount of data that it is actually, you know, uh, using, uh, so that will get counted in your monthly plan. So whatever was the number of words it fetched for those runs, those are the actual amount of words, whether you save it or not. So those are the words that you have actually used up. So if I want to go with this, so I'll have to take this as the copy and then I can open up a Google Doc and then let me give this as the topic. Okay. See, again, this one, I wouldn't want to give a blog focused on Google Meet benefits. I can actually give a better headline than this. Now, uh, if I would want to take this same thing here for the Jarvis, let me see what it brings up. I hope I have not missed out anything. Uh, audience could be teachers. You can see there, there, there's this option of audience. Then you have students. Okay. Then schools. Okay. Uh, so you can give whatever is your audience and you also have a tone of voice. So uh, it could be something like educational. Okay. Uh, or whichever tone you would want to give. Okay, and then I have outputs here since I am in the boss mode plan. So I get an option of like say 10 uh, outputs. So I can go for 10 outputs here uh, and then I can see what outputs it gives me. So these are the ones that it is actually giving me how to build a more inclusive classroom with Google Meet, five things you didn't know about Google Meet. I love this one. Uh, how Google Meet is in the classroom, how to set up. So it gives us a variety of options for the ideas. Okay. But paper type, I would say is not bad. You will just have to work on the idea that is it is giving us and then you'll have to work on top of that. Okay. So coming back here, I would then want to go to the blogs and let me take the blog introduction okay so again i give here google meet and one good thing about paper type is what i'm seeing is you give here google meet and it is actually retrieving the topic or the description that i had given earlier so that you do not have to waste time now this is kind of present in jarvis also but it cannot retrieve the old value that you had given other than you know if you go here and see for the ai outputs what it has given so in in jarvis i would say it is a bit uh, you know round about the way you will have to go there and then search for it but here it looks good so i do a create blog intro a search for that and it gives me some introductions here okay so uh, limit here is 600 characters so it will fetch you anything which is inside of 600 characters but just be sure that all these words that it is actually uh, you know fetching these will be utilized as part of your plan so this is again i'm just going to let you know now i would like to tell you something here now this is ai this is a bot so as i said earlier during the start of the video it tries to find patterns okay so what it is doing is you know it is trying to match for all the products that are there that are used with google meet and then it is trying to fetch for the google docs here okay but as a human i would say like i wouldn't want to use this first line uh, i would have to rephrase this a little bit um, but then I am done or if you do not want to take this I, I think you can also go for the other ones like after the pandemic strike on us Google Meet is widely used for conferencing blah 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 and the technology is being enabled so this is this is this looks fine 
okay uh, since the introduction of google meet it has gained a lot of popularity in this and you can also use both of them right because it has already fetched that so let me take this so this is just a sample that i am showing you guys okay so this is how you would want to do it in your uh, you know real blog as well but you would have to little bit change on those but now what i'll show you is this is the introduction so i take this part again i copy it and there is another option here if i go to home uh, there would be some option of you know doing a little bit of improvement on this particular topic yeah so content rewriter so again i put google meet this is the content so i'll have to add here this is my content let's see how good it might give us Besides being a great way to search for things on the internet, Google Hangouts also opens up and innovative. It's good, actually. I would say Google Hangout because if you if you would uh, want to know about the keywords, uh, you are not stuffing in the keywords here, right? So it is using another natural, uh, you know, form of Google Meet. So I love this one. Okay, so I take this as a copy, although you have lots out here. So I would like to go with this as the introduction. Now, once you are done with the introduction, uh, now there are a couple of things I would also want to say. Uh, if you would want me to uh, create videos on how to create blogs, I can do that. Because for introduction, what you have to do is you have to give a preview proof and then preview that actually works right so i can form reform this as i'm doing for my blogs okay uh, for all my niche blogs and they are actually uh, getting a lot of clicks on that now what you would want to do is you have to use a h2 now for that what i would do is i come to paper type uh, go to home and then i would want to do a blog outline so here i choose google meet and then i give the create blog outline okay so it is exceeding so it will take only the part portion that is there available so let's see what it has Google's virtual meet for small business so for small business you can go ahead and elaborate that then the summit is for small business around the world who are looking for to drive growth and impact so you can see about how Google meet will help you in your growth and impact because you know if you want to get in touch with all of your people or your connections out there you would have to use zoom or google meet right so you can go ahead and teach them or educate them how you can use the google meet what you can expect from the summit okay but see uh, i am not okay with this particular uh, outline let me see for the next one okay i love this one what is google meet you go ahead and answer that how google meet helps small businesses how to use google meet for businesses and then you give a conclusion so i like this one so let me copy this and i come here okay so these are all my uh like say my h2s and then what i do is i go on elaborating on what is google meet again you can use uh, the blog rewriter you know the content rewriter or the content expander okay and then it goes ahead and expands so in this world of ai it is very important that you are having some kind of these ai tools but if you are just starting off you know i would suggest that paper type would be a better option to go for and then maybe switch on to jarvis because the idea here is that you invest you go on investing as your blog progresses right now there are a lot of such videos right there in my channel so please make sure that you browse through them and watch them now i would really appreciate if you can give me a like and also subscribe to my channel clicking the notification bell so that you are notified as soon as i come up with such videos again please share this video with all your friends and family in social media because youtube likes that engagement now there are two videos that are coming up right now on your screen so please make sure that you watch them till the end till the next time bye bye